there is a lot of uh, interest in how we could, uh, you know, use optimal nutrition to maintain immune health as we get older. One of the dietary patterns that has gained a lot of attention is this Mediterranean diet. So this is the diet that is consumed uh, very actively across the regions around your Mediterranean Sea. Uh, it's very rich in your dietary fibers. It has a higher consumption of uh, protein-based meat, reduced consumption of red meat, uh, reduced consumption of saturated fatty acids, and also it uh, promotes a balanced uh, meal where there is reduced consumption of fats, sugars, and processed foods. And there's evidence now, so this was a massive study in um, healthy young older adults, over 1,200, and what they've shown that a one-year adherence to this Mediterranean diet can reduce your inflammation levels, so it has anti-inflammatory effects. Uh, one of the mechanisms on how this might be impacting, and that's really important to understand because it helps us develop other strategies, is that this dietary fiber, which is a big component of your Mediterranean diet, is almost like a food to your healthy microbiome. What your gut microbiome can do is that it can digest these dietary fibers and it can in turn produce metabolites. One of the most common ones here being short-chain fatty acids. So butyrate, for example, a very common one. And these metabolites can then via circulation go and impact other organs. And they're also now gaining attention because they have immunomodulatory properties. They're anti-inflammatory in nature. So we have done a study last year in which we were very interested in dissecting these links between nutrition and immune aging. I've earlier on introduced you to a number of hallmarks of T-cell aging, whether it was a loss of your naive T-cells, we see a built up of memory cells. Uh, these memory cells are more senescent in nature. So what we can do is we can assess a number of different features of your T-cell aging, and then we can combine them and generate one score, which is called your immunological age. What this metric, has, it's been shown that this metric is a really good predictor of mortality. What we've gone on to do in our study was we recruited healthy young and older adults, and in parallel, we collected a lot of information on their diet. And we've also done deep immune phenotyping to assess this immunological age. So this is, as I said earlier on, it's a score between zero and one, and higher the immunological the score, the more aged your immune system is. Firstly, there's no surprise our older adults did show a higher immunological age, although they were healthy. But interestingly, what we've observed here was that there was a strong association between your immunological age and the Mediterranean diet score particularly in older adults. So what you can see over here is that these older adults that had a very high immunological age also showed a lower Mediterranean diet score. We have then, via machine learning approaches, tried to disintegrate which components of this Mediterranean diet was one of the biggest drivers. And it wasn't a surprise that your dietary fiber was the top one that associated with your immunological age. And one of the hypotheses here is that it also associated with your intestinal barrier integrity. Those older adults that were uh, adhering towards this Mediterranean diet, having more dietary fiber intake, showed reduced levels of a tight junction proteins in circulation, so maintained barrier integrity. And this could be one of the reasons why they also showed a reduced immunological age. 